Welcome back to Sound 101. I'm Andrew from Deity Microphones, and on today's special episode, we're going to be talking about the firmware we just released for the Deity Connect. The Deity Connect has been on the market for a little over a year and a half, and we just launched version 2.1 of our firmware update. And a lot of you guys have been asking for what is a comprehensive guide as to what the new features allow you to do with your new Deity Connect system that you may have just purchased. So with no further ado, let's get into the new menu system for the Deity Connect. Up first, the Duo RX. So let's actually just go right into the main menu and see the differences. So first thing you'll notice now is a system settings menu, uh, where if you go down into it, so all the minutia kind of stuff that you may or set up once or twice when you actually buy your system is now in this menu. You can see we're actually running V2.0 right here, but V2.1 really hasn't changed this menu at all. You can do your update here. If we go into this menu, you can actually see, uh, it's actually giving us a warning now because you have a low battery and it's not recommended. This new warning system prevents you from breaking your system. We have our languages and that's kind of, kind of wraps up what this menu kind of does. It's not really a big menu. It's really just to kind of clean up everything. Like I said, it really kind of allows you just to kind of do what it is you need to do upon initial setup, but not much else. If we go into the actual menu here, for the RX, you can see we've got a couple of new options and that is latency mode. This actually adds extra latency to your system, which actually adds more stability if you're in a rough RF environment. Output mode really hasn't changed at all unless you're using solo A or solo B. That's gonna determine whether or not one of these in the back is actually being selected. So let's actually take a look at that. So here we have XLR mode. Again, if you're in output A, you have the A signal. If you're in output B, you have transmitter B, the B signal. If you go down into DSLR ISO, you'll notice something which allows you to do A and B on the same 3.5 millimeter output. And then on the secondary uh, output, which is the B output, you can actually plug in headphones now. So if we go down into solo A, it's all transmitter A. Solo B, it's all transmitter B. And if you go into hot mode, you can actually do something in the stereo version of this that allows you kind of A output, left and right stereo output. This before was called stereo. It was a little confusing. Now it's called camera hop. So you know if you're using this in a camera hop situation, it's perfectly fine for that aspect. If we go into latency, again, we now have low, medium, and high. Low is 19 milliseconds latency, medium is 30 milliseconds latency, and high is 40 milliseconds latency. These are actually used to add extra stability if you're in a rough RF environment. Now here's something new, that is pair channel A and pair channel B. This allows you to pair so you can either go into channel A or channel B inside the Duo RX. All you do is hit select and it gives you a screen saying you're already connected. But if I was in a situation where I'm not connected to anything, it would actually ask you this and then it would give you a screen telling you to select yes on your other device. These new screens and announcements that once the device has been connected are brand new in the updated firmware. Now let's take a look at the HDTX. Let's look at the system settings menu. Here you'll find all that kind of minutia stuff that was in the other unit before, but also now things like time and date have been added, as well as you'll see here we're running 2.1. 2.1 also gave us USB mode, so if we actually take this, select it, we can use this as a mass storage device in our PC or Mac. Without this selected, it will automatically be a sound USB card. So you can actually get your microphones on your input right there and it be a USB mic. And here on the headphone jack, you can actually use this to monitor your PC audio. But with storage selected, it'll actually transfer everything off the micro SD card to the computer. We now also have an SD card menu. You can now see the remaining time and storage of your card, as well as format your card inside the unit. Another new feature in version 2.1 was the adding of the Paralyte. If you select it, you could turn off the Paralyte on and off. So if you are using this just as a basic recorder, you could turn this unit off and you don't have this distracting green light anymore. The biggest overall change to the HDTX is the fact that you can now record and transmit at the same time when you select XLR and select plus 48 volts phantom power. So with both options selected, you can now transmit and record at the same time. In terms of an update for the BPTX, all those changed was a couple of bugs were fixed no actual user interfaces were changed for you guys. And that wraps it up for us with the Deity Connect and version 2.1 of the firmware. We actually have more pieces of the Deity Connect family coming out later this year, and we are excited to introduce those pieces 
to the rest of the family as they get introduced. Down in the comment section below, tell us why you love DAD Connect and why you've made it your wireless choice on your film sets. I'm Andrew from DAD Microphones. Thank you for watching.